Hello. Nomad Sculpt Cat Series Part 4, the second uh, of the Technics um, video. Okay, I switch to the Nomad app. Um, okay, this is uh, the floor plan at the moment, and I load it in a version before. Okay, um, in this top view, I turn the perspective off, top view is on, and I created uh, the other walls. Um, like I told in the video before. Um, now, it's... Um, Okay, um, this object, um, you can now, you can uh, select all the objects, not the plane. And now you can simple merge them. Um, I turn uh, off the post-processing. Um, and use it only in, in a white color. Um, it's important to know, um, now you got all the objects um, in a simple merge object, object but uh, when you in the scene menu, you can uh, separate them again. Now you have um, the, the objects um, Again, one one by one. Um, now the object is uh, again uh, simple merged, and when it's simple merged, um, you can change um, the additive a little bit uh, to look through it, and now we have uh, you can make trims. Um, in this view, um, okay, I go back in this view. We need um, a, a better a plane helps. Um, I bring in a new plane. I um, bring it in this position, and I rotate it um, in the view I need. Uh, for example, in this view, or I rotate it in this view. Uh, when I need it, so I turn on the wire, and I s the the plan is now not uh, really useful. I go uh, in, in the plan and hide the plan, and go back to the new plane. And in the plane, uh, the plane um, set to zero and validate it and now you can um, do a subdivision uh, sorry not a not this subdivision um, a flat subdivision and now you got a like a um, yes a, a cross in the middle and it's like um Zieltafel, wie sagt man? Target. Uh, okay, I, I go a step back and uh, I adjust the, um, the plane a little bit uh, to fit in the in the size of the the object, and I validate it again, and now I subdivide it. Ah, that's crazy flat subdivision. Okay, you can do it uh, twice, then you got more lines. And um, okay, I show you um, why it helps. In the front view, you can bring this object inside um, and you can look through it. And you can adjust the lines you need for the trim 
and um, you can bring this plane in, in any position you want. This is good. And bring it bring it there and there. And now you um, can use the lines of this pl plane to trim the other objects. And now use uh, the split function rectangular and um, for the doors or the windows you can now trim here um, you have to select uh, the walls not the, the plane and make sure that the front view is locked it's always remember um, Front view locked, symmetry off, always the same. Um, okay, and you trim this object and um, make another trim. Um, you can adjust the, um, the target line or, or okay, um, and switch back to the view and trim again. Uh, where I'm. Uh, split again. Use the split function, not trim. Split. Okay. You can uh, unlock the view. And now you got three parts. Um, I'm selecting the upper part. And okay, I'm, I'm first I'm selecting the, the plane and I hide it. And uh, now I'm selecting the upper part and at the bottom there's a solo view. Click it. In the solo view you have only this object. And <clears throat> now bring it in position and in this scene menu the box is selected and now separate the objects. You got now in a solo view all the objects uh, of this view and now you can use, um, you can lock the top view and use the selection mask and you can uh, uh, I turn on the, the outline and solo wires. Okay, select the object you want to, to mask and then go to the gizmo and bring uh, the part in the right position you want. Select selection mask and bring it there. And in this object, it's not exact the same line. Um, you can clear the mask, use the gizmo, and adjust it a little bit. Um, it's fine tuning. Um, next object, selection mask, and yes. I do this um, now um, complete um, there's a port not selection as To, 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 to what we need. I think this one. And the last one is this. Oh. 
this one makes trouble. Then we use this one. Okay. Um, I think all the walls are done. And now use the smooth button, hold it, and select all the parts again. Top, top. This one. Unlocks a few. And I think uh, that it would be nice uh, if we had a lasso um, selection tool. <laughs> okay, and uh, so the objects are um, selected and simple merge it. And now you can. Uh, go outside the solo view and you see um, now the, the walls in, in, on, the, uh, on the top are correct and um, so you can do it uh, with, uh, with other parts of the wall and you can always um, go back and um, select all the objects and simple merge them and um, you can easily uh, split an object again um, using this function and, and uh, go in a solo view um, and go a step back and clear the mask. Now when this is, uh, this object is activated, you have to clear the mask. And, okay, I simple merge it again. And now you can uh, split the object on, on a position you want um, and go in a solo view and adjust it here separately. Separate. Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, that's enough for this video. <laughs> Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.